Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here, hope you're well. Now, I'm in an app at the moment, and it is essentially your whiteboard. And what we're gonna do is use our agent to create something that requires uh, multiple turns and multiple calls to its inventory. So you'll have to say how many is in each slot. So normally we say 64, and then we can say whichever slot uh, it's going to be in. Um, so this is going to here, so slot one, it could be two, it could be three. And so you can preload this with multiple blocks at one go. So. You could say this is slot one, slot two, slot three, because we could be using multiple materials, okay? So anything that we could be building, let's go and say we are building a house, and then the house could be built out of pretty much anything, I suppose. So if we, it is literally brick blocks. This would be a brick, here and then you could have let's say a cobblestone wall and so this is using the idea of the pandas so when we did the pandas you had to go and lay all the bamboo right and then you had to go and lay all that using a repeat four and then whatever length this is so it could be repeat four. And then it would be inside that repeat, you would have repeat nine. And then laying down the blocks, right? So we remember all that. And so the second one could be if this is cobblestone. Cobblestone. This could be cobblestone. There. And then the third piece would be to get our agent to sort of move and you'd have to sort of teleport it to different places and make sure that it's at the same spot and then it would have to build a sort of pyramid of of materials here and this could be slate so this could be a uh, deep slate put my deep slate and then you could have that as uh, your third material so it would have the house the thing is though uh, you'd have to go and organize this uh, as best you can because uh, let's just go and fill this in with white so I know what's going on and so you'd have to go and fill this in with white uh, sorry <laughs> you'd have to go and organize how your uh, You'd have to go and organize how your uh, pseudo code would look on your page, okay? So you'd have to have all your pseudo code, and then you'd have to say uh, the wall, and then you'd have to have uh, the house itself, and then the roof. And then what we'd have to do is inside our house to make it even better. So you can see we're just doing individual blocks of code here so you'd have your series of code for this your series of code for that and your series of code for the roof and then what we'd have to do is take it to the next level here so this would all be sort of level one and this would be level two and inside here you'd have your doors and then windows and then level three would be the interior now, how you would actually get this to go is entirely up to you, really. So how you'd have this built and on what sort of angles, um, sorry, what sort of areas you would have to sort of get this built. Because in your windows, you would need to go and put uh, glass or glass panes. And then you could have colored glass, for example. You could have uh, a door here, of course. But if you have an iron door, of course, uh, you would have to go and put a pressure plate here. 
So that'd be another call to the agent's uh, inventory. So here you'd have one call to one call, two call, three call for that wall, house and roof, and then uh, four for the doors and then windows, and then, and then later on for the interior. Now what we'd have to do then is once we've got it all together, is just go make a new uh, a new page in here. And once you've got that all together and you've got your roof, walls, garden wall, possibly a path, windows, doors, uh, and then maybe some flowers maybe in the garden and an interior would be just simple blocks for a bed table etc so then what we'd have to do is go and put all these pieces together in your code and then what you'd have to go and do is then put them all together into one big on chat and that would be called house, no doubt. So you could go and just undo that and call that house. And so once you put that together as house, it will build all the pieces together, testing it all the way along the, uh, as you build, of course. And then in the end, you'd have your house. Like so, and you'll build it in one big go in one total go. You have your house and then your garden wall like this. And then, oh, we probably forgot a hole in, the, in here so you'd have to break that and then a path going up to the house with some flowers and some bits and pieces in the interior. Because then you'd have to go and work out how to go and TP to all these places. and then go and put everything together as one big giant code in house. Right, go and start to come up with an idea. It doesn't have to be a house. It could be anything you want. It could be a car, I suppose. It could be a vehicle, it could be a truck. Uh, and then what could we do with a house if we know how to build a house and we know we've got the code of a house? Could you collaborate with somebody who's got, say, gardens and then maybe a park and then somebody who's got vehicles of some kind and then, and then maybe you could go and get all their code together into one giant piece and then before you know it, you have a town as part of a class set. Who knows? becomes endless then because once you've got it correct you can copy it and use it many many times as always good luck with this